Oh. Party wave. <laughs> That's beautiful right there. No grab, perfect cylinder, but super heavy. Did you see that backwash? Look at that thing. No grab, back door in the peak, backside. He's one of the only guys, maybe the only guy that does this. JJ Ayala, he's been riding the wedge as long as anybody. He turned pro in 95. I've known him for probably 20 years, surfing off the wall with him back in the day. He's still pushing it. And he's riding her boards. Let's give him a call. Dave, what's happening? <laughs> JJ, my man, how's how's things over there? How you guys doing? We're doing good, obviously. Um, given all the stuff that's going on in the world, uh, we're 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 happy. We're uh, we're healthy, and we're at home, and uh, we couldn't be happier. Epic, man. Lots of quality time, huh? Yeah, a lot of quality time. The uh, the kids are uh, they're at each other's throats though. <laughs> <laughs> they might they might need a little less quality time soon, huh? Yeah, they're they're getting a little too much quality time right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, sick man, I'm watching some of this footage of the wedge, and you are killing it. You still got that rail game backside. Uh, it's called muscle memory. You will have it in, into your uh, into your 80s, I'm sure, Dave. <laughs> But tell me, man, you've been riding the wedge for so long. What is it about the wedge that just keeps you paddling out season after season? You know, the wedge is, uh, I, I love surfing. And when I was younger, um, I, you know, I, I was in Florida for a while. And I think living on the East Coast, um, the lack of waves makes you really appreciate anything. So whether it's one foot or two foot or onshore or offshore, you're just, if something's gonna push me to shore, I'm gonna get out there. Yep. But if I do surf and there's waves at wedge, I'm gonna go down there. I don't ever check it. I just grab my stuff and head down there because I I'm guaranteed to, to definitely get barreled. And you know, that's the funnest part about bodyboarding. So wedge is one place where if you show up, you're guaranteed to either get a, a, a solid you know flogging or, uh, yeah. or get a nice barrel. So that's my go-to now. That makes sense. That makes sense. What uh, what board are you riding nowadays? I'm riding uh, your the Dub 41.5 with the uh, the ISS single stringer. Sick. I like having a little bit of flex on my board. Uh, you know, when you're trying to get up, I'm usually doing a late drop in. So the flex on the board keeps me in the uh, the, the hot spot. Yeah. Sick. Um, it looks like it's working good for you. Yeah, I mean, Scotty Carter actually gave me, when I first moved back to California, I think it was in 2015, Scotty Carter came over and he's like, hey, you got to try this board. It was uh, an older dub board. And I took it out and I'm like, you know what, this thing works. And I hit up your brother and I'm like, hey, Jeff, can you get me a board? I want to try it. <laughs> out of the wrapper, that board worked the first time. I took it out of wedge and I was doing backside turns in the pit like it was like a custom board it was it was probably one of the best stock boards that i ever rode and i've been hooked since wow that's a that's a big testimony so i appreciate that your guys's boards right out of the wrapper i could probably go to a surf shop pick a board up if i didn't have one and be guaranteed to be able to rip on that thing. sick super sick. stoked to hear that yeah, man. Thank you so much for your time, JJ. And thanks so much for representing Hubboards and, and doing us proud over there at the Wedge, continuing to just pull into huge beasts. Mahalo to you guys, too. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so happy to uh, be still connected with you guys. And All right, brother. Well, thanks for the call. And I hope to see you guys soon. I hope you guys are all doing well. We are. Um, thanks so much. And stay safe over there. And we'll talk again soon, JJ. All right, brother. Mahalo All right. and aloha. Aloha. JJ Ayala, pretty classic guy, very interesting fella. Thanks for tuning in and 
catch you next time.